Namaskar, welcome to my new vlog. So while returning from Subramanya, we went to this hotel. So right now we are in Lakshmi Nivas Hotel, the KT Hotel, very famous for its KT and Rim Jim coffee. So we ordered KT, so this is the KT and that is the Rim Jim coffee, the three layer tea and coffee. Along with that we ordered some chats, that is Masal Puri, the Masal Puri was very tasty but I loved the chai. Many time I tasted the KT there, it is uh, kadak and very tasty. So I made this macaroni pasta by using Bambino macaroni pasta. So often we make pasta out of vegetable like a simple uh, Indian pasta. But today I tried my own style pasta for that we need to boil the pa pasta first of all. Here you can boil uh, like a normal with some water, salt and oil. Here I am making my own sauce. The pasta sauce for that I took some basin along with some wheat flour. We need to dry roast it very well. After that add milk, vegetables and some spices and salt. You can also use whole spices as well as garam masala and chicken sukkah masala, any masala you wish. And after that, if you want, you can add some cheese, butter. So the main thing in this sauce is the consistency and the masala and as well as the salt. So keep it little watery because while uh, boiling it will uh, eventually become thick. So our pasta here is ready. So after cooked, you can also apply some extra oil and salt. The main thing in the pasta is the pasta should absorb good salt and spices. So that for the sauce add strong amount of spice and salt. After boiling for 15 minutes in a low flame, the pasta color is changed now, the pasta sauce color. So when it turn like this, uh, like a yellow ochre or brown in color, now you can add the pasta and then add some freshly chopped coriander leaves and sim it for 5 minutes and now let's taste the pasta. The perfect consistency pasta, the sauce is neither too thick neither too thin and it is a simple pasta with less uh, spicy because the pasta will absorb all the spices and perfect. Do try. So I went to my cousin's home, there they bought this Vipro Smart camera, so I decided to unbox it. So this is the Vipro smart camera, 3MP Wi-Fi smart camera. We got it from Amazon with a good discount. So you can pause the video and read all the features. 24 into 7 live streaming, HD video, talk and listen, viewing angle, night vision, camera quality, video recording and smart security. It also gets smart motion alerts on your phone. Along with many features, do pause the video and read. We also checked the camera quality along with the night vision, it was really super. 
so this is the modern kitchen scone mixture today in our home there was upma so that uh, it the upma was very bland so i decided to mix it with some corn mixture so i like like this corn mixture very uh, very much because it has uh, many dry fruits in it like the raisins and peanuts cashew so this is like a ragi halwa not a exact ragi halwa a thick ragi halwa we give this to the cow during deepavali we make the same ragi halwa little thin version of this but we add milk and salt uh, milk so little amount of salt jaggery and some ghee to it along with some elaichi powder and here you can see a sour vegetable this is called as bimli kai in kannada so this is well washed clean and then we use it for pickling by adding some salt and this vegetable green vegetable can also be add to the pickle along with that eh? along with that bimli so this also requires the same process cutting it cleaning it and then pickling it just by adding a layer of rock salt on the top and while making the pickle we need to add the extra salty salt water and some spices so we also use this for i use this for making sambar or the sabzi so here uh, the chillies badgi chillies along with the mix of many chillies are kept uh, which are sun dried for one week so that the pickle will won't spoil and it uh, shelf life would be very good so in this uh, we have badgi chilli for the color and as well as taste and the ur medicine kai which means the village chilli for the spiciness so this is for the lunch i am having some boiled rice and mixed vegetable sambar so this uh, sambar paste as well as the sambar powder we make it in a home fresh sometimes we also store the sambar masala and use it for instantly making the sambar the same sambar masala powder can be also added to this sabzi this is the cauliflower sabzi along with some bombay rava so it gives taste like a cauliflower fry because we add the roasted bombay rava on top along with some fritters so this look like a bitter gourd but it is not a bitter gourd we mainly uh, make this during ganesh chaturthi so this fry is made up of that vegetable and the simple rice flour paste along with the spices and salt so these are for the evening snacks some poha so these are the spicier and sweet poha for naivedyam or for during the festival uh, we do not add the spices to it otherwise for the evening snacks we add some the normal sweet poha is made for that the spices chilli is added to it so in the medium mix uh, mixer grinder we made this pickle masala so this contains all the spices uh, red chillies turmeric methi the fenugreek seeds and the mustard seeds asafoetida everything the masala is roasted very well for the mangalore red masala pickle we do not roast the spices we directly grind it so this is the mustard seeds used for the pickle masala so that's it for today's video i hope you liked this video let us meet in the next video please subscribe my channel bye bye